I'd like to hear your thoughts on why it's bad, though. I'll give it to you. So let's let's answer this question first. Okay. So one thing that's a, a little bit unusual about me personally is that most of the people in this regenerative space don't look like me. They're not good old boys that farmed in, in right. industrially and went commando. They are, right. you know, they got degrees from hipsters. Hipsters, yeah, they're hipsters. <laughs> I probably ain't a hipster, <laughs> but uh, I am one of the good old boys, and I still live in a community that there is nothing but industrial farming, zero. And you're the only farm that lives the way yours is? In my... In your area? Big area. So, uh, and I still, I mean, I, they're still my relatives and friends and neighbors, and we talk do they and, talk to you about it, like, with, like, they're thinking about doing it as well? No. I, no. I, we're talk, don't okay. forget that question. That's a good okay. question. Okay. But you got to let me go down the road. I'm sorry. I'll let you go down Stuart, the road. So Stuart Varney. <laughs> it's a Stuart Varney. <laughs> he got all the time in the world, sir. All right. So when I talk to them about this, and they'll, you know, that, that's a, the co most common argument in the world, the one you just said. You can't feed the world like that. Right. And I love that discussion. They'll say, all right, let's have it. But first— Let's stipulate that the earth has a carrying capacity. You can't I, keep... I like how you said that. Sir? Carrying capacity. Carrying. Very are, serious. Are, are you making fun of my no, southern accent? No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's the, only one, it's the only one I got. I like it. All right. The earth, earth, has, has, a, the earth has a carrying capacity. And, yeah. and, you know, we may be past it now. I don't know. We may, we may When we double population, we may be past it. But at some point, it's it's... That's all you can have. Right. All right. So the question is, what farming method will carry the earth furthest in its carrying capacity? We'll get the earth the furthest. Now, that's, that's really the argument. And the industrial farming with this all of this misused technology that we use, that we're using today, uh, if, if acres of land is the first thing we run out of, it is a much better system than mine. You can feed more people with the industrial centralized commodity system than you can with my regenerative system. I lose. But what if land's not the first thing we run out of? What, what if it's oil? I don't use as much oil, petroleum. What if it's water? I don't use as much water. What if it's uh, the reductive plant foods like potassium and phosphate that we mine? Mine's better. I can feed more people. What if it's other things? What if it's the, the antibiotics that the pathogens are not uh, resistant to? My system's better. I can feed more people. What if it's the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico down there, right? My system's better. So from many, many, many perspectives, I can give you a list of, of as many as you want. My system is less destructive and will carry more people on this planet than the current destructive linear factory model. And your system is fairly self-sustainable in terms of like the feed the animals eat? Or how much feed do you have to bring in? No, we, do, we bring in feed. And I you love, bring in feed for chickens? You bring in feed for cows? No? Uh, uh, the, the, the monogastrics, the pigs and the poultry. Okay. We bring in feed. And what kind of feed do you bring in? We bring in a bought, non-GMO, non-corn, non-soy, expensive feed that, that we bring in. But I could grow it myself. That's the question. I, 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 there are... I love closing loops, and there's some mm -hmm. loops I have not closed. And that's one? That's growing. one. Gr growing all my own non-ruminant feed, monogastric feed is but one. But with the cows, it's just grass. That's grass it. and hay. Yep. Grass and hay. Yeah. And hay is just rolled up grass, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when you do this, how much – if you decided – you wanted to go back to the factory farming system. How much more money would it cost and how much more money would you get out of it? Is it more financially beneficial to do it the way you're doing it or more financially beneficial to, in, in a scale like the size of the scale that you're using right now? Because it seems like it would cost a lot of money to get all that stuff 
to feed these cows to make them fat real quick and all the money for the hormones and all the money for all these other things where you just let them roam around and eat grass, but you don't get as much weight out of them. So, like, what's the tipping point? So, make, make no mistake, of all these inputs that, that the industrial model brings in, all of them are brought in to take cost out of production. You spend money for the input, right? but, but ultimately it takes cost out of production. But, like, what is, what's the percentage? Like, how much of a percentage are you losing by doing it your way? That is so uh, situational. Let me mm-hmm. give you an example. Okay. So that's a great question, but I can't give you a short answer for it. Okay. So, so uh, I would tell you that in the case of my grass-fed beef, it, it, my cost of production is probably 30% higher than mm. the industrial model. Wow. And you could argue – we could argue – if you told me twenty or thirty-five, I would, I don't, I, you know, because I, I don't know, it's situational, but right. it, but that that's not in the range. That's not going to be too far off. Mm. Now let's let's step over to poultry. My cost for raising a chicken, a four-pound dressed chicken in Bluffton, Georgia, and putting them in a bag, is like four dollars and fifty or sixty cents a pound. Mm. You know, I see chicken on sale for a dollar. And ten cents a pound. So, my cost of production for poultry is hundreds of percent higher, and that's because the chicken lent itself to industrialization more handily than the cow did. We took more cost out of production. Hmm. So you know, so you know, when you say how much higher is it? That's like how long is a string? You know, right? But 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 it's higher. My cost of production is higher. When you as a consumer ask me as a farmer to give up all the tools that reductionist science gave to take cost out of production, you add cost back to production.